Hello, IPG members. Uh, great to be part of your virtual 2020 conference. Uh, my name is Jonathan Knoll. Uh, many of you will know me from uh, a long time spent at Whitaker uh, and Nielsen uh, as president of Nielsen. Uh, I'm now here to speak to you in a far more important capacity uh, and uh, that of chairman of the book trade charity, BTBS. I'm going to talk about two things. Uh, what the book trade charity has been doing um, about coronavirus and secondly, how the Book Trade Charity can help IPG members uh, contribute to the future inclusivity of our book industry. So first, coronavirus, um, let it say, let's say it took us all a bit by surprise. Um, our wonderful team of um, Glenda Barnard, Nikki Cattle, Keith Foster, ably led by the great David Hicks, uh, have responded brilliantly. Uh, albeit remotely. Um, three book trade executives uh, came up with the idea of helping booksellers, particularly independents, through this crisis with a specific hardship fund. Um, with the support of hundreds of individuals, um, the Booksellers Association, Penguin Random House, Amazon, amongst others, we've raised £400,000. We we've already allocated over £60,000 um, to needy causes and the team are processing inquiries every single day. We all know that coronavirus has impacted our businesses, but for booksellers with tight margins and uh, no cash flow, uh, this has been a real challenge and it's a real issue for them right now. If you feel able to help, please email David Hicks at David at btbs.org. Thank you. We, like the rest of the trade, um, are working hard to improve diversity and inclusivity in the recruitment, in paid internships, in apprenticeships and in first roles within our industry. Uh, we, like you at the IPG, want to increase the opportunities for young people to join our industry. Many can't because of financial constraints. First, we have a number of grant initiatives. Our entry into the Book Trade Fund supports interview costs and relocation costs. In the last two years, we've helped over 90 individuals join our industry. We also supply internship support grants um, and where the remuneration of the internship is insufficient to cover all the costs, we're able to top those up and support them. We've just received funding for five qualifying individuals each year for five years with a bursary of £6,000 per year to help support them through the early stages of their careers. We would encourage IPG members who feel they could benefit um, from these schemes to contact us and, of course, IPG members that feel they'd like to contribute to these schemes Please contact us. It's no secret that one of the main barriers for entry for young people, particularly in London, is the cost of housing. And we're tackling this head on. As a result of an overwhelmingly successful pilot project at our Whetstone location in North London, we're building four new blocks of flats to accommodate 25 young entrants into the book industry. This is costing us 3.1 million pounds as a capital project. Building work commenced late last year and coronavirus permitting, of course, our first tenants will be uh, in situ in March 2021. Book Trade Charity is funding this out of resources, or sorry, reserves of 1.6 million and a loan of 1.4 million. Our appeal um, to help offset uh, the loan was launched in February of this year uh, with a target of £500,000. We quickly raised uh, £200,000 prior to shutdown uh, and since then uh, our priorities have clearly shifted to helping the coronavirus challenge. Uh, we would love IPG members to come together to support um, uh, to support this initiative in, in a coherent way, maybe through a sponsored flat. And we welcome the involvement of individuals 
who can buy and name a brick in the entrance hall to the flats for £1,000. So in summary, the Book Trade Charity is here to help and support colleagues and friends in the industry who need it the most. And we are also here to help secure an inclusive and diverse future for our industry. I thank you for your time. Once again, if you want to help in any way or you need some more information about grants, please contact david at btbs.org. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hina Bryant and I am a Rights Assistant across Harder Headline John Murray and Quirkus. I am here to share with you all today how the Book Trade Charity helped me navigate my first year of working in the book industry. As I am from Birmingham originally, when I was offered my first job in publishing, I was lost as to where I'd be living when moving to London. I was first introduced to the Book Trade Charity when I was offered my first job in the publishing industry. After contacting someone from the Book Trade Charity, I was able to secure my own flat with fantastic transport links, but most importantly was extremely affordable. The Book Trade Charity ensured that my move to London was smooth and that I could live and work in London comfortably. Without the Book Trade Charity, I do not know how I would have been able to start my first job in publishing. I am so excited and happy to be involved in the work that the Book Trade Charity are doing to ensuring that more people like myself are able to move to London as well as work in London stress-free. The Book Trade Charity offer a wealth of resources, however I believe that this is one of the main ones. The Book Trade Charity ensures that anyone from any background, from anywhere in the UK, can move to London and chase their dreams of working in the book industry. As I said, I am extremely grateful for all the help that the Book Trade Charity have offered me over the years. And I am so excited to continue acting as an ambassador and ensuring that as many people know about the work that the Book Trade Charity is doing. Thank you so much for listening to me and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.